In an effort to improve spatial efficiency, I designed a grid station that overlaps with itself. This might seem like a bad idea. You can only use half of it at the same time, or you get train collisions, like the one about to happen right now. But no collisions happened, no explosions, the trains don't even have a scratch. It's as if these trains aren't even here. As if they are ethereal, and this isn't because of mods. This station works in vanilla, so how does it work? Trains aren't one big entity, they are made out of individual locomotives and cargo wagons, each with their own hitbox. And there is some room in between these hitboxes, enough room for another train to drive through. And all this station does is line up the holes of the train with the rails so the train can drive through. The trains stop at the first station, this gets detected by the combinator circuit. The station is disabled and the second station, one square ahead of the first one, is activated. Half a second later, the second station is deactivated and the first one is reactivated. Even though technically the train moved past the first station, it is still close enough to think that it's actually stopped at the first station, which complicates the circuit a bit because we don't want the whole mechanism to start over. But now the train is in the correct position. Even though both directions can have trains at the same time, only one direction at a time can move trains in or out of the station. Otherwise they will collide anyway. Now, if you want to use the station for yourself, make sure the condition for the first of the two stations is set to 0 is larger than 0. If you just set it to wait 0 seconds, it will seem to work at first, but now and then it will go wrong. The condition for the second station is less important. I've set it to depart when another train is about to arrive at the station. Having stations in a grid formation does make it harder to belt items in or out. But there is enough space in a station itself for on-site production. I have added some assemblers producing gears as an example. It produces 42,000 iron gears per minute. You can find the blueprint of the station in the description. And if you like this video, consider subscribing. I'm still quite new at making videos, so if you have any ideas about how to improve them, for example, if you want these videos to be more technical about the actual combinators, tell me about it in the comments.